I just came from a funeral, Madam a Sir to Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests. I never imagined myself as a widow. Alvin Adams, he was the perfect husband. Our marriage was great. Our lives together were perfect until his mother moved in. She brought a lot of chaos into our home. I decided the best way to reduce the stress would be to introduce a balanced diet rich with organic foods. There was a learning curve. My first few recipes caused them both to become very ill. But with practice, I became quite adept and my mushroom omelet proved to be very tasty. <laughs> Imagine my surprise when I discovered the mushrooms were poisonous. <laughs> and I became the widow Adams. Then I married Brad Brooks. Brad was a sweet outdoorsy kind of guy. Now I'm not an outdoors person, but I found his love of hunting attractive until I was left behind again and again when he went hunting with his buddies. I decided the best way to spend more time with him would be if I took up hunting. It was a crisp November day. I saw the perfect deer. I aimed, bam, bam. Then I heard Brad scream. I ran to his side. I looked in his eyes. Imagine my surprise when I heard his final words. Jane, why are you reloading the gun? <laughs> then I was the widow Brooks. Then I met, with my track record, I didn't think I'd ever get married again, but then I met Carl Crane. Carl was a great husband and an avid cyclist. Why, rain or shine, he rode his bicycle at least 20 miles a day. Coincidentally, Carl Crane's continual cycling caused constant chaos <laughs> and a curious, catastrophic conclusion. It was a very foggy day. I shouldn't have been driving. Imagine my surprise when an object appeared out of the fog. I slammed on the brakes. It was Carl. But no matter how hard I pressed that right pedal, the car only picked up something. <laughs> David Donaldson. David was a delightful husband, but very forgetful. He could never remember to put the toilet seat down. <laughs> we argued, and then David became very unlucky. Twice the brakes in his car went out. <laughs> once, an once the microwave fell and barely missed his head. An electrical short caused a fire in his office. He even lost part of his foot in a lawnmower incident. But even with all of that, I was willing to stick with him. <laughs> Imagine my surprise when he divorced me. Then that tragic day last year, I think I told you about it. That tragic day when he saw me at the bus stop, he walked up to me and pulled out a knife. And before I could stop him, he stabbed himself <laughs> 12 times <laughs> in the back. <laughs> I had kept his name, but I don't know that I'd be the widow Donaldson. Then I married Eric Edwards. Eric is hard to talk about. He was an attorney and definitely a type A personality. It seemed that nothing could ever please him. I think that's why he turned to drugs. It was very difficult for me. I had never been in a relationship with an addict before. Imagine my surprise when I discovered his drug addiction to arsenic. <laughs> <laughs> and now I stand before you as the widow Edwards. But I know I'll meet the perfect man. And my sixth marriage, it'll be the one that will last. But for now, I have to go. I have an appointment with my insurance agent, Fred Franklin. <laughs>